welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you this Stirling engine. It is made mainly with cans. It is very similar to a previous design that I showed you in my channel, but with some little changes that I will tell you about in a minute. This engine has a maximum speed of a little bit more than 800 revolutions per minute. The engine is made out of a can. The first thing we need to do is to cut it in two parts. The cut is at 15 centimeters from the bottom and the top part of the can will be put like this in order to seal the engine and here we will put cold water in order to cool the engine. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register upload your Gerber file and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. In order to make the crankshaft, you can take a piece of wire and bend it in this way. However, with this method, it will never get perfectly straight. So what I'm going to do is to take a piece of wire. This is from a bicycle spoke so it is perfectly straight and then I will add the central part here we will see now how to fix it and then cut the middle part in this way our crankshaft will be perfectly straight first put the u-shaped part using some copper wire and cyanoacrylate glue this distance must be around 10 millimeters and this part here is just a piece of plastic tube that I took from the pen. Now I will put epoxy beauty here and here. Here's the crankshaft ready to install. Here I have the different parts to make our steering engine. This is the displacer piston. It is made out of steel wool using the same technique as in a previous video. The link is in the description. And this will be the power piston. Here we will put a balloon, common balloon, and this part will be glued to the balloon. This and this are 3D printed and this is a piece of PVC pipe that goes here, press fitted, and this goes here in this way. So we will have the reciprocating movement with the balloon in this position. And this piece goes here, we will make a hole in the can in this way. The PVC pipe must have the same curvature as the can. It must go on this way so we have a good fitting when we glue it to the can. You can do this very easily. You just take some sandpaper, put it around the can and then sand the PVC pipe until you get the right curvature. The displacer piston must be around 5 centimeters tall and it should enter the can and move freely with just a little little bit of friction barely touching the can. I made a hole in the can for the power piston and two holes 
and a groove in order to insert the crankshaft. The displacer piston is installed on the crankshaft and now we need to install the power piston. The wire here has this form in order to clamp it to the crankshaft. The only thing left is to install the flywheels at each side of the crankshaft. For flywheel I am only using the bottom of a pair of cans and to put the upper part and the motor will be ready to test. I used duct tape in order to seal the two parts of the engine and the flywheels are glued with a mixture of cyanoacrylate glue and sodium bicarbonate. So we can now test the engine. Okay, the engine ran at the first try, which is very good, and now I increased the tension of the balloon, it is now more, more tense, and let's see if that increased the speed. I also painted black the flywheel and added this white tape in order to measure the speed with the tachometer. Okay, there you have it, another Stirling engine 
and I will continue on the quest for more speed. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.